Hello, my name is Raymond Hardy, and today I'd like to talk about this RC low pass filter, and in particular the zero input response to this filter. So, the first thing <coughs> that I'd like to go ahead and do is to write a KVL equation for this circuit. So, KVL and state that E, the voltage, equals R, the resistor times I the current through that resistor plus V0 which is the voltage across the capacitor. Now we can't we can't do a whole lot with this right now we have to do some manipulation of this uh, equation and one of the things that uh, we should know is that I the current is equal to the capacitor dV d0 over dt now this is a very common uh, equation, differential equation for the current through a capacitor. And what I would like to go ahead and do now is to go ahead and use that uh, idea and replace the I that's inside of uh, the uh, KVL equation. So why don't we go ahead and do that. So we have E equals R times C dv0 divided by dt plus v0. Now uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit more uh, manipulation. I want to uh, go ahead and take the E term on the far left and move it to the far right side. So then I want to go ahead and um, divide by RC and I'm going to do both things simultaneously to try to save a little some steps here so that's going to leave me with dv0 divided by dt plus v0 divided by rc equals e divided by rc now this term right here, uh, this uh, E term right there, this is known as the forcing function. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. The forcing function. Now <coughs> I want to take a look at the zero input response. And what that implies is that the uh, forcing function uh, must be zero. So let me go ahead and uh, write that in. So we have dv0 dt plus v0 divided by rc equals zero. Now what, uh, so what does that imply? Well, uh, if we're looking at the zero input, which is what the zero uh, that I've just uh, put in place of the forcing function, if we're looking at the zero uh, input, then uh, we need something to drive the circuit. We need some type of stimulus uh, to drive the circuit, and that stimulus comes from the capacitor. So we're looking at uh, the fact that this capacitor is holding a voltage and we call that the uh, um, initial condition. So the initial condition of this uh, capacitor, I'll call it V0 at 0 equals VC. That's our initial condition. or I should say that's the initial condition of the capacitor. Now, <coughs> we want to go ahead and solve for the uh, equation just above this initial condition. And so, uh, let's go ahead and do that. What we're trying to do is we're trying, we're trying to solve for uh, VO or, or the voltage uh, initially. So let me go ahead and work on this equation right here. I'm going to take the second term, or the n term, or the second term, I guess, which is V0 over RC, 
And I'm going to put that on the far right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say D V0 divided by DT equals minus V0 divided by RC. Okay, so now uh, I want to go ahead and um, create some room for myself. And uh, let me go ahead and take take this right here. I don't think I need this anymore. Let's cut that away. And uh, I don't think I need this anymore. Why don't I just cut that away? And let's take this <coughs> and let's move this, say, you know what, I'm going to move it to the right over here. Okay. And I'm also, one other thing, let me take this term, that's that term that, uh, let me take that right there, let me move it down here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and finish working on this equation. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the, uh, the on the right side where it says V0, I'm going to take that and move it underneath the DVO term on the left. And then I'm going to take the DT term on the left and move it to the right side of the equation. So why don't I go ahead and do that? So that would give me dv0 divided by v0 equal to minus 1 over rc um, dt. Now we want to go ahead and integrate both sides of this equation. And the term on the left will be the natural log term. So why don't I go ahead and write uh, this will equal V0, and that's natural log. V0 equals minus 1 over RC dt, and the dt will just been, end up being t. And so I'm going to multiply that t times the 1, and that will just give me t divided by RC plus a constant k. Now to get rid of the natural log term, we need to raise this entire equation uh, by the exponential function. So let's go ahead and do that. That will give me v0 equals e to the minus trc plus k. And I'll put that in parentheses. But we can express this a little, a little better. Why don't we say that this will actually end up being v0 equals e to the minus T R C E to the K. Now this E to the K is nothing but another constant. And so I'm going to call that K1 and rewrite this once again as V0 equals K1 E to the minus T over R C. Okay, so I need to, uh, once again, I need to make myself some room here. So why don't I go ahead and now um, I'm going to get rid of, I think, this right here. Let's cut this away. And uh, I won't need this right here. Let's cut this away. And I won't need this uh, right here. Let's cut this away. And let's go ahead and take this and move it 
I'm going to move this to the far right here. I mean the far left, excuse me. I'm going to move that right there. And uh, let me just clear that right there away. Okay. So now <coughs> we need to figure out what K1 uh, represents. So if we use the initial condition, we can say that V0 at time equals 0 equals Vc, which equals K1 E to the 0, which is 1. So this ends up being uh, K1 equaling V0. So we can go ahead and say in the uh, final equation mm -hmm. that the final equation will be V0 of T equals V C E to the minus T over RC. And this is the final equation for the zero input response to the RC um, low pass filter. My next video will be for a uh, RC low pass filter again, but this time for the zero state response, which uses the forcing function and not an initial condition.